Some say I'm the voice, give my people hope I'm the chosen one, some say I'm the GOAT This that Holy Ghost, don't you overdose This that living legend, hands around your fucking throat Get it, I am a menace, I am the end and the fucking beginning It ain't no question about who was the realest Niggas are gimmicks, they gotta be kidding Follow my lead and I'll show you the way I am believing So, y'all I shared this story on my Instagram page If you're not following me on Instagram, y'all Cut the shit. Links in the description box. It's real easy. Two clicks, and you there. Now you fucking with me. I put this up. The headline reads, Texas teacher reveals how rude parents, disruptive children, and poor pay have forced her to quit her job in viral posts that she shares photos of classroom items destroyed by her students. This post came from Respect My Hair. Actually, I want to go here. Because they actually have the photos she shared. They actually have those. I'll read the caption here. It's a little lengthy. It says, a teacher has slammed her disruptive students and their rude parents over their lack of respect for her poorly paid profession in the Facebook rant that has gone viral. Julie Marburger, 45, a mother of eight, who works at Cedar Creek Intermediate School in Texas, said that she had been pushed to quit uh, her role as she feels as though she has no way to do the job I was hired to do, teach kids. Along with her status, which she has had, uh, on, uh, this is a status per Facebook, she's had 322,000, uh, 100,000 likes and more than 400,000 shares. She posted images of her messy classroom showing broken shelves, books, and even an iPad, explaining that many of the items destroyed by the students were paid for out of her own pocket, as she has no budget. Julie, who is originally from Utah, if you don't know shit about Utah, you're talking about, you might see one, two black folk in Utah, and that might be on the goddamn border or some shit. Like, they're not out there like that. And teaches students aged between 11 and 12 reveal that she is being pushed to the brink of quitting that day by a disrespectful parent who shouted at her in her classroom for holding her son to account. In the post, she wrote, I left work early today after an incident with the parent left me unable emotionally to continue for the day. I've already made my decision to leave teaching at the end of the year, and today I don't know if I will be, um, I don't even know if I'll make it that long. Parents have become far too disrespectful, and their children are even worse. Administration seems to err on the side of keeping the parent happy, which leaves me with no way to do the job I was hired to do, teach kids. Julie, who has four daughters and four stepchildren, then shared a stream of classroom pictures taken over a few days, or taken over the past few days of her messy classroom, including broken shelves, broken books, and even an iPad discarded on the floor. I finally had enough of the disregard for my personal and school property. I'm drawing a line in the sand on a myriad of behaviors that I am through tolerating, she added. She then revealed that a parent had held her accountable for her son's behavior that day, and she shouted at her in front of the child. I'll show you these pictures before we get into this. I don't give a fuck about the post, really. Show you these pictures. Broken bookshelves here. iPad broken there. Books tore up in the classroom. Disorganization in the classroom. She's just showing what she's dealing with. Gum on it. Gum is not even a new thing, but she put this up here. Now, I saw some of the comments on this post. Let me go back to my page because I'm done showing y'all the pictures. I saw some comments on this post, on the original post, and I saw it, and people were saying she was exaggerating. She was being extra. She was, let me tell y'all something, man. Tell y'all what I know about parents and their fucked up ass kids, which means the parents are fucked up themselves. Even when I was coming up, there were teachers who were truly just trying to do their jobs, teach the material. Get your ass ready for whatever tests and quizzes that you're going to have so you can, you know, get your you know, midterms, integrate tests and get all this shit jumped off. For me to sit here and lie and pretend that most people made this about those are black kids. So, you know, that's what it is. I went to predominantly black schools coming up. Black children acted a goddamn fool. A lot of them. 
They don't pay teachers enough. And I don't give a fuck that this teacher is white. There are black teachers. I've had teachers that have hit me up throughout the years. And we talked about some of the things happening within the school system. There's even black teachers that say these kids is wild because the parents not teaching them at, at home. She's teaching 11, 12 year olds. We're looking at what are we talking about? Uh, fifth, no, sixth, seventh grade, middle school, right around here. I have children that are in middle school. A lot of these kids don't have no goddamn home training. And what teachers are being told to do is not only teach your child, but somehow they're supposed to be a parent for your child too. This is happening as early as kids being put into pre-K, daycare, you asking if the daycare workers discipline your, or, you know, manage your crazy, wild ass, fucked up ass kid out here. You're asking that they, you know, have some type of restraint and discipline and they call you you don't want to be accountable for what the fuck your kid is doing parents are not raising their kids to exist in this world where other people go out to deal with them that's happening a lot this ain't one of them times i'm about to make it about her being white not going to do it not going to make this about white supremacy no i won't be bailing y'all black people out with that either what I will be saying to you black people out here who are failing to raise your children at home, because I know what y'all doing. I've been watching y'all all my life. I've been in school. I've been the kid who didn't, I didn't really have to work as hard to make good grades um, and to make A's and pass out. I didn't have to work as hard. There were students who needed to work a little bit harder than wouldn't. They were just disruptive. Disruptive, extra disrespectful teacher. You know, everybody thought that shit was funny. It was cool. You know, these teachers don't make enough. LeBron them making all the money. LeBron them, you know, your baseball players, your football players, all these motherfuckers, movie stuff, they making all the money. They not paying teachers like that. And, but y'all want them to assume so many roles. You don't want to raise your kid up with no type of fucking respect of any kind. Destroying property, think the shit funny. You know... Y'all not raising y'all's kids right. You're not. At all. And it's not a teacher's responsibility, regardless of the race of the teacher or the race of the child. It's not their responsibility to, for you to have some type of order in your household. Because a lot of these kids who act like this up at the school, they act like that at home too. Mama or daddy or both, and both, a lot of times they'll just pardon the behavior. They'll ignore it, think they're going to grow out of it. A lot of y'all making those types of mistakes. They're going to grow out of it. they just kids. No, they're not growing out of it. They're taking it abroad, taking it out here in the world with them. What reason would 11 and 12 year olds have for destroying a classroom? Even if y'all say that she being extra, what reason would that be for them to even act like that? I listen to my kids tell me stories about, you know, some of the stuff that's going on up at their at they schools. Kids are unruly. And y'all don't want them to be paddled. I know back in my day when I was coming up in elementary school, they would goddamn get the paddle out on your ass. Well, there ain't no paddles coming. Y'all don't want nobody to do nothing. Parents will come up there and act like they don't know that their kid is a fucking lunatic at home. But they're going to act like it's the teacher's fault that your kid is getting, you know, disrupting the class. Like it's your teacher. It's the teacher's fault. No. It's not those teachers' fault. They're not making enough to deal with y'all. These teachers are a lot better than me. This is why I've had people tell me, Rob, man, I bet you'd have been cool as fuck as a teacher. I wouldn't have made it. Because the first parent to come up there talking in my goddamn face, I know damn well your kid ain't worth a damn. And it's because you ain't worth a damn, but you're not worth a damn ass up here mad at me. I'd have cussed their motherfucking ass out. Teachers can't do that. We'd have probably ended up in that bitch fight. They'd have been recording that on their damn phone. Teachers can't do all of that. But we send our kids up here. Y'all ain't raising them. Don't want to tell nobody you ain't raising them. You know, you act like you're doing the best job because you're buying them clothes and shit and feeding them. A lot of parents think that's all it is to it. Just buying them shit. Making sure they don't die, of course, you know. But just buying them shit and just sending them out here in the world. Teachers got it. They'll take care of it. They'll raise my kids for me. 
That's bullshit, y'all. Black people, I don't give a fuck that this teacher's white. Y'all can make it about her being white. I saw some people doing it. White folk can't deal. Why are they having to deal with any, I mean, what, is, what, what should the teacher be able to deal with? Your kid not acting like it's supposed to act? Not being able to be quiet, be still, pay attention? Why are they being tasked to deal with that? As opposed to that being something you dealt with at the house. Early. Unless you want to homeschool. Deal with your own goddamn kids. Let them tear your house up. A lot of y'all houses look like you got kids. I had that motherfucker tell me, oh, well, my house looked like this because I got kids. <laughs> you know how that is. <laughs> no, I don't know how the fuck that is. I don't know anything about that. Your house looked terrible. It's in shambles. Toys and shit all over the fucking place. Destruction, dismay. Because you got kids. I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Y'all listen. Black folk understand that the school system is going to be in there miseducating your child. But that's where our kids are being sent. That's where they're going. It's your job to educate that child as well. Regardless of how many lessons they get about Columbus discovering America, it's your job to tell them the truth. But goddamn it, when the tests come and they ask you who the fuck, what the fuck, who is he, you know who it is. Don't mean you got to believe it, but you're going to pass this goddamn test. You can give them that true knowledge. I do it for my kids all the time. We'll get lessons and we'll sit down and we'll talk about what really happened, Pearl, versus what they want you to know happened and what they want you to perceive as the truth that happened. You're not going to be at the disrespecting teachers. If they ask you to be quiet while they give a lesson, you be fucking quiet. Because if they call me and tell me you're not being quiet, well, now you got to deal with me. I'm not coming up there to cuss your goddamn teacher out. Because, see, a lot of these kids know that's what that kind of parents they got. Just dumbass parents. Gonna run around and cuss everybody out to tell them, yo, your kid needs some work. Just cuss everybody out to tell them that. You do have parents like that. I knew parents like that when I was coming up in school. I always cussing the teacher. I'm like, be like, look, your kid is, is wild. You know that, right? But they're not being held accountable. Parents aren't being held accountable. It seems like that this society, what it's doing now is everybody else's fault. Everybody else's fault. No matter what is institution that we send our kids into, it's everybody else's fault what they're doing and how they're doing it. She's supposed to have been able to deal better. Black teachers don't even deal with this good. They don't. Y'all can make it about her being white again, but it is bullshit because I done talked to plenty of black teachers. Plenty of black teachers, both male and female, who talk about the fact that that these parents are not raising their kids. You'll have people in uh, uh, daycare, even in elementary school, even up to high school, at uh, every level. These parents are not raising their kids to have any order about themselves at all, any respect whatsoever at all. And then you got the parent to come up there and disrespect the teacher too. Now, what is that? I mean, what is that? Now, I can understand if you in a situation where the teacher done really done some shit to disrespect your child. Different situation. I'm not telling y'all, let teachers run amok. What I am going to say is, black folk, I'm not letting y'all off the goddamn hook. I'm not one of them type of, you know, pro-blacks or whatever the fuck y'all want to deem somebody. I'm not one of them kind. I'm going to hold your feet to the fire because I see y'all goddamn kids out here. I see how fucking terrible they are and how y'all have made it okay for them to act reckless. That's okay. That's normal. That's bullshit. It's our job to do something about this shit. That's what we supposed to be doing out here. Not no, None of these teachers, whether white nor black, that's not their job. That's our job. They're not targeting your kid a lot of times. Your kid ain't got no goddamn home training. You ain't taught them none. They don't even respect you. You just laugh it off. It's cute to you. They don't even respect you. And these teachers who ain't making no fucking money are supposed to deal with this bullshit. That's all the fuck I want to say, man. I know some people going to disagree. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But as a father myself who expects nothing less than my children to act like they're supposed to act at school. Not allow a teacher to disrespect you. But if she's trying to teach, 
You're not in there destroying the classroom. You're not making a an asshole uh, out of yourself in front of the classroom for laughs. That's not what you're doing. Why are you there? Because when you're there, you're representing me too. Y'all not teaching y'all's kids. I see y'all out here with them in public. Y'all not teaching them shit. Everywhere I go, everybody's always amazed with my kids. And I've done nothing amazing but be a father. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing amazing about that to me teaching my kids discipline. Teach them how the fuck they're going to conduct themselves. That's To me, that's normal. That's all the fuck I wanted to say, y'all. Y'all, comment if you feel the need to comment. Like, share, subscribe, y'all. Mad love. Shout out Team Rod. It's your motherfucking man's name. I'm out.